All right, this video is going to show you how to create pilot wave presets for your eventide pedals. These include the H9 and the factor pedals, the time factor, pitch factor, mod factor, and space pedals. So go to stepaudio.net and then under the support tab, click on pilot wave quick start. Once you're there, scroll down and go to number five and you'll see choose your brand. So select eventide. Then you'll see the different pedals pop up. And we're gonna click on the H9 Max. And the first thing you see is there's a video there that shows you how to set up the H9 for use with Pilot Wave, as well as tables of all the settings you need to change to make your Eventide settings line up with the numbers that Pilot Wave sends out. So if you haven't already done that, you'll need to do that first. Then you scroll down to number nine here and you'll see a table that we've created which has presets for each of the Eventide algorithms. These presets serve as starting points for creating pilot wave sequences. We've set up these presets so that you're ready to start sequencing the most interesting parameters on each of these algorithms. You'll also see on this table it tells you what the key parameters to sequence are. Of course you can get creative and do your own thing, but we wanted to give you a starting point. So go to that table and select the preset for the algorithm that you want to sequence. Today we're going to sequence the Pitch Factor Pitch Flex preset. So on the table, go down to number 37 here, and when you click on it, it'll automatically get downloaded to your Downloads folder. So we can tab over to our Downloads folder and you'll see there it is. Now we're going to need to import that preset using the H9 Control app. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the algorithm for the preset that we're going to import. In this case, we're going to click on Pitch Flex. And then once you're there, go to the top right, click on More, and then go down and click Import Preset. Once you're there, navigate over to the folder where the preset is, then hit Open. It'll give you a little thing that says it's imported successfully. And then you can see it's designated as U1, user number one. So then go over to the Paddle Preset list. And then this one, we're going to put at number 37. So scroll over to number 37 and double click on it. And then over on the left, scroll down again until you get to Pitch Flex and click on that. And then it lists all the different presets for it and go down and click on U1. Then when you hit Save, our preset's going to be saved to slot number 37. Then we can go back and you can see there it is in number 37. Now we're ready to create a sequence that recalls that preset as a starting point. So we're going to go back over to stepaudio.net. Then we're going to go up back up to the top here and click on support again. And this time we're going to click on pilot wave preset programmer. So when you're on the preset programmer page, scroll down here a little bit. And the first thing to do is we'll select the preset number. We're just going to use one. This is the pilot wave preset number. But if you want to put it at a different slot, go ahead and select a different number. And then the next thing we got to decide is how many program changes to send. And here we're just going to send one because we only have one pedal connected to pilot wave right now. And we're going to send channel 14, which is the channel that we use for all the eventide presets. Then program number 37. Remember, that's the slot where we put the pitch flex preset. So use 37. When you hit enter, it's going to get sent over to the device. And then up at the top here, there's a space to put in information to remind yourself which algorithm you're using. So we're going to type in pitch factor, pitch flex, and we'll put 37 so we remember which preset number the pitch flex is. Next, you select which sequence type you want to use. And for creating sequences, the easiest one is tap tempo. You can always go back and change the sequence type, but for creating sequences, it's really helpful to be able to preview it as a tap tempo sequence, and then you can hear it looping and get an idea how it's gonna sound. So we're gonna keep this simple and just make a four-step sequence. 
And I'm going to skip an explanation of the rest of this stuff. If you want more detail about how to create sequences from scratch, go watch our Creating Sequences in-depth video. So we're going to slow it down to, let's say, 80 BPM here. And then we're going to decide how many control changes to send per step. That's how many parameters we're going to control. And for this video, we're just going to use two because there's two independent pitch shifters with the pitch flex algorithm. So we're going to sequence each of those separately. So then go down to control change number one here. And again, we're on channel 14 for the eventide pedals. Under brand, select eventide. Then under device, these are all the different algorithms. So go down to pitch flex and select that. And then for select parameter, we're going to use pitch A heel. The heel interval is the one you hear until the expression pedal gets moved. So we're going to use pitch A heel for the first one. And then the second one, again, channel 14. And under brand, even tied. Again, go down, grab the pitch flex one. And for this one, we're going to do pitch B heel. So for the first step, we're going to do an octave up on pitch A. And you'll notice as you move the slider, you can see it change on your pedal. So you can see the information on the pedal, but you can also hear the changes as you make them. So turn up your guitar a little here, and I'm just going to play an open A. So I have an octave up on the first step. For the second step, I'm going to do an octave down. And you hear that second note from the pitch B coming through still. So it gives it that fat kind of octave -er sound. We're going to do pitch B in just a moment. For the third step, we're going to do a flatted seventh. And then the fourth step, we're going to do a fifth up. Now we'll go down and adjust pitch B. Now for the first two steps, I'm just going to leave it at unison because I like the way those sound. But for the third one, on that flatted seventh, I'm going to do an octave down from that. And then for the fifth up, I'm going to do an octave down from that as well. So now we have a four-step pitch shift sequence. We can go up here and preview it by pressing play sequence. And if you want to hear the individual steps, you can scrub through it by moving this slider. And when you like the way it sounds, you go down here and just hit send preset. And you'll hear it immediately start playing. So that sounds pretty cool. So we'll save that preset. And you'll see this little window popped up. It says click to save your preset. And it gives you a name that you can use if you want to, or you can type in your own. We'll just use the name that it provided. And you hit save to computer and it saves it in your downloads folder. So that's all there is to it. That's how you create presets for your eventide pedals for PilotWave. There's lots more information over at stepaudio.net.